We just flew in from Palm Springs and we are ready to start our vacation at Joshua Tree National Park. The Joshua Tree was named by Mormon settlers who thought it resembled the biblical figure Joshua reaching his arms up to the heavens. As usual, we are getting started with a hike right away. It's kind of strange because it's high desert with a lot of mesquite, but we also have the palm trees. This is called the Mastodon Peak Trail because someone many years ago thought that resembled a Mastodon. Mastodon Peak Trail not maintained. The climb to the top of the peak is on an unsigned trail. This portion of the hike is for more vigorous travelers. The trail goes through a boulder pile, across a slab of granite, all the way to the peak. Boulder scrambling is necessary, but the view is well worth Here's the old Mastodon gold mine. In the teens and twenties, a lot of gold was mined out of this here mine. Right into there. We're going to make one more stop here on our first day at the Choya Cactus Garden. Time here at the Joshua Tree Inn outside Joshua National Park looking at a beautiful full moon. Starting day number two of our trip, waking up at the very cool Joshua Tree Inn. On September 19th, 1973, country rock star Graham Parsons was found dead in room number eight of the Joshua Tree Inn. Here's a little memorial to him right outside of room number eight. And we made reservations three months ago so that we could stay in the Graham Parsons Memorial Room. Kind of a chilly morning here in the desert, but we're going to start our second day of hiking by going to the 49 Palms Oasis. Okay, we're hiking to the 49 Palms Oasis. Down there is the town of 29 Palms. We must be getting closer to the oasis, because you can see in the middle of all this red rock, there's a bunch of palm trees down there. That's what an oasis really looks like not like in a cartoon. Here we are at the 49 Palms Oasis. They say bighorn sheep like to come down here to get a drink of water, but they've gotten more rain in the last week than they usually get in an entire year. So there are no bighorn sheep down here today. We're going to go on a hike to Arch Rock. We're doing a big hike. We're going to the summit of Ryan Mountain. This is as steep 
as hiking up the Grand Canyon. And there's snow up here. We have reached the summit of Ryan Mountain. The sign down there said reaching the summit of Ryan Mountain is a reaffirmation of life. So I got that going for me. Even here at the peak of Ryan Mountain, there are Joshua trees stretching out their arms saying, Jehovah, Jehovah. When Graham Parsons died, two of his friends stole his body in its casket and brought it to this exact spot, which is called Cap Rock. They set fire to the casket because he had told them one night that when he died, he wanted his body to be burned at Joshua Tree. They made a movie about that starring Johnny Knoxville called Grand Theft Parsons. We're here at Keys Point overlooking the Coachella Valley. We're going to watch the sun go down over San Jacinto Peak. We are starting day number three at Joshua Tree National Park. Going to take a hike to the only lake in the park at Barker Dam. We made it to Barker Dam. We had hoped to see some wildlife. But again, there's just been so much rain. I don't think the animals have to come down here to get water. Hey look, somebody built a snowman. Of course it's only about four inches tall. We found some Native American petroglyphs. Unfortunately, in the 1960s, a Walt Disney movie crew used paint to enhance them to make them be seen easier on a movie screen. That, of course, is vandalism. Snow and ice storm coming in tonight, so time for us to leave Joshua Tree National Park. Graham Parsons and Joshua Tree National Park. Our last morning here at the Joshua Tree Inn. They only get snow about once every five years here at Joshua Tree, but this is the second time this week that they've gotten a snowfall. All this week people have been trying to show us their cell phones with photos of snow. One woman tried to show us frost on her car. We said, hey, we're from Nebraska. Saying goodbye to the Joshua Tree Inn. of Joshua Tree to Palm Springs was closed due to the blizzard. So we're driving a route that is literally 200 miles out of our way, trying to make it to the Palm Springs airport in time. Palm Springs. We made it to the Palm Springs airport. The airport here is an open air airport because the weather is perfect 365 days out of the year. Now we need to get on that airplane and head back to Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs>